Meghan Markle here. So today is June 12, 2024. It is 5.02 a.m. I just finished editing a video that I recorded yesterday. And um, I went on Twitter to look for, you know, uh, some tweets to add to my list that I started since uh, yesterday. But um, <laughs> I spent about 20 minutes just going through and but I'm being distracted by other videos <laughs> funny videos so I was like you know what let me just stick with what I have right now nine tweets okay so we're gonna go over them for really quick because at six o'clock I have I will say six eleven I have to wake up my kids okay so let's look at some of the numbers 4286 subscribers new subscribers welcome estimate revenue going down subscription is going up I do not know what's going on so please if you guys want to support my channel and you want to continue seeing stuff on YouTube because YouTube is making it very difficult for me to continue putting stuff on YouTube but if you appreciate some of the things that I'm sharing with you I will suggest you uh, you know uh, there's PayPal the link is in the description cash app link in the description or go to my shop and check some of the things that I have see if you like and um, that's a couple ways you could support my channel uh, because they don't want uh, information to be shared that's pretty much that okay so these are the numbers let's look at analytics is uh, 2314 views in the last 48 hours one thing I realized I was thinking about this yesterday I think every uh, marking period in terms of when they're gonna pay me because every 21st they deposit money into your account I think they have a limit for my channel or at least for me whenever the limit is rich they either suppress the channel the the videos and make sure it stays within the boundary of the amount of uh, money that they want to uh, give me every month or something like that because on PYTE when I when it was first monetized every month the money was going up I even reached $800 at one point it was after that $800 um, you know and change obviously then they start making things very difficult for my channels and I was starting to realize a couple things and I create this as a backup okay and then eventually what I was suspecting, it was hard for me to say this is exactly what they're doing because they're doing it in a sneaky way. I cannot say this is what they're doing. It's very hard to prove. But I saw it coming. And then I create this channel as a backup. And then soon after, they demonetize the other channel. It All last year, the channel was not monetized. Not this one, Pure YTE. And then um, stuff keep on happening. All right, so these are the numbers. Let's go on Twitter and let me see how much I could record before six something. Uh, I was looking at different things. This was one of them too, but I'm not going to share this here. All right, first tweet. This is uh, Royal Suter. I'm sorry, but the fact that an uh, exclusive article on how much grandpa misses his grandchildren got one of the children ages wrong should tell you everything you need to know about grandpa's lack of interest and in, and in those kids clown okay so i think i shared this on my community board i wasn't sure which article she was making reference to but usually when the squad make reference to something there must be a tabloid uh, a headline somewhere okay i didn't see it so i can't share it so let's read can you miss someone you never met? Apparently, he's never met Lilibet. Yeah, I saw that 
airing this uh, report as well. Okay, so these are other things. He needs a good press after Camilla's gaffes lately. All uh, right, are you serious? Uh, the Camilla gaffe is when they went to France to the D-Day thing. Camilla, I was just editing it on my last video. He was giving, or she was giving um, Sunak a bad eye and she didn't want to hold hand with uh, the first lady of France and all of that. So people sh were dragging her. All uh, right, so that's what he is making reference to. He needs the good press after Camilla's gaffes lately. Okay, are you serious? Rhetorical question, I know you are. The spoon fed the info to a clown and he still managed to <laughs> muck it up. <laughs> it's like F it up. I, um, I never click to read British media articles because it's all BS all the time. Uh, those people are so ridiculous. Alright, so that's an ad. After this, that's it. Bottom up. I wonder if he misses them more or less than the last article. Is this leak because of Colonel Kate Middleton's letter and Camilla's being a rude ass guest in France? You see, this is the thing here. I wonder if he forgot he took their home. That's Fragmore. That will never be forgotten or forgiven. Okay, I don't even think this was spoon fed by the palace. This was completely made up by the press. It could be. It could be. Because these are his people, his friends. <laughs> Remember how he said he has so many friends? Okay, these are his friends. They're trying to clean up his mess. It's one of those, the unspoken words, but uh, they make so much nonsense out of things, so people will always catch with their BS. All right, next tweet. Royalist, if King Charles wants to see his grandkids, why did he evict them? Okay, that's the Fragmore again. Okay, he doesn't want to see his mixed race grandchildren at all. He wants to use them in some ways he used his son, Prince Harry. Yeah, that's where the thing was going to be. Transfer. All right. Whatever the behavior they were using, Harry. Put uh, all those bad uh, headlines about Harry nonstop. You know, they were going to transfer that to his children. But what happened, I think, in my humble opinion, Harry learned to deal with it when he was over there. When he didn't have his own little family, he learned to deal with it. And then when he's done doing his performance for the firm, he fly off to Africa. But um, Charles and William, all the rest, okay, the rest, they wanted to continue the same behavior, you know, run everything. They do as they please. There's no concern, no worry about anything. But as soon as people find the stupidity that they've done, uh-oh, let's shift that to uh, heavy or something like that. Now that heavy has uh, a family of his own, they were going to shift everything to Harry was like, Nope, that's not going to happen. I know how it feels. Okay. This is not going to happen. And Harry put a stop to it. Okay. Like he said, in this, uh, interview in South Africa, now that he has a family to protect, he will protect it. I will always, I will always protect my family. And now I have a family to protect. Um, so, Everything that everything that she went through and what happened to her is incredibly raw every single day And that's not me being paranoid. That's just me Not wanting a repeat of, of the past. He will protect them uh, Why he doesn't want to okay. I just read that precisely. That's an ad. Well uh, Learn from his wisdom first. He takes away their security then takes away their home The only safe place they have when they visit that shutter island and after all that he makes it even harder for parents To pay for their own security. So what wisdom? <laughs> Shut up. There's <laughs> the GIF uh, maybe, uh, He rests in peace. This guy was his name something Perry so the whole issue really is that Charles just cannot handle anyone in the family attracting any attention other than himself. It's the same old media only wants to focus on Diana's problem. His ego just can't stand it and he passed that issue on to his eldest son. I don't know why he cannot take the, that concept. Harry understand that concept very well of the tabloid. It is the tabloid who have full control of what they print. So if those people were his friends, they will be writing positive things all the time for him. He didn't have to worry about spotlight. But he refused to wrap his head around who's in control of the paper. It's as if this is a machine that is automatic and does things and then he's pissed about it. No, it's the people that he claimed that are his friends, he's partying with and all of that. Mrs. Bugabills is a great friend of mine. I have 
a large number of friends. I'm terribly lucky to have so many friends who I think are wonderful and uh, make the whole difference to my life, which would become intolerable otherwise. They don't want who's in control of the headlines. Megan understood that. A second she got up. I mean, she always understands this type of things, but still. Has he actually said he wants to see them, or is this more palace lies and spin? He doesn't care about anyone but himself and his mistress. Always been the same. Uh, my take on this is that because of the Kate saga, Charles knows he won't have access to that set of grandchildren as easily in the future. So he's planting stories about building relationship with the Sussex kids, making them flavor of the month. Hmm, I'll go into that. Okay, let me just go to it now. As the monarch, he has legal custody of his grandchildren. Kate has no powers to take them and keep them away. Uh, this is, uh, I believe this is the reason why Harry made that move like that. Go take his family out of the country, pretend it's gonna be a vacation, knowing all the things that was going on in the background we didn't know um well we sort of have an idea but f as a fact we weren't sure so he took them that's the canada thing on vacation it was around christmas area all right go on vacation because he's the father of the child I, I i don't know how it runs but because he was there as well with megan took archie off out of the country so it was okay so they didn't suspect anything but when he came back to the Sandrian summit, okay, without Megan and Archie, and already starting to separate them, said, nope, you're not going to have access to them, okay, and then they never went back, Megan went back with them, all right, so let's continue, um, I just read that he could be planning to use his uh, fake interest and the Sussex kids as leverage to make Wank jealous and increase his access to theirs, I don't think Charles cares about anything, Charles doesn't care about anything, all uh, right, nothing it's just headlines that's it to distract but if the kids were ever to be in the uk he will use his power to take the kids away he will do that because he knows harry's not playing okay and harry understand the situation that's why the kids never go over there okay rubbish okay that's an ad let's go to the next one again it's making reference to king charles there's a article byline article i think i want to read all right next to it when Prince Harry must contact Charles for Father's Day, the world is watching. Okay, that's fine. But still, I think I respond to it. Okay, so there it is here. 46 people like it. King Charles III can also call Harry, who is a father also. Harry has traveled thousands of miles to see him, but only gave Harry less than an hour of his time and took his security away from him. According to King Charles III, since Canada 2020, Harry is dead to him. He then bothered to find how Harry was doing after border was closed. Let's see this here. Oh, I continue. Oh, this is someone that I blocked, so I don't even need to read it. The same can be said about the royal family. Harry had... Harry has the right to tell his side of the story after his family spoon-fed the British media BS. Pretty much everything else that I am aware of were things that revealed through the legal system, aka the court. Example, the royal family uh, through British media, Harry left. Reality, King Charles III kicked Harry out. Alright, so there's that. Was the world watching when Charles then answered his phone? To his son, who was being stripped of security while in Canada, totally exposed, or was it watching when the financially cut him off or evicted him from uh, from house gifted by his grandma? I heard the world of Queen cheering. Okay, get out of here with that. Okay, if he doesn't call, royal reporters will just say he did. They might just throw in that he even begged to the to be left back into the cult. All right, let's pause this. Okay. If he doesn't call, royal reporters will just say he did. They might just throw in that he even begged to be let back into the cult. Uh, right? So there's that. Celebrity. So there's the screenshot of it. Charles evicted his grandchildren from their British home. He initially planned to remove their royal titles. He 
vocalized his concern about quote how dark they will be and he clearly has never cared about his grandkids security or Harry and Megan security. He's also shrugged of invitation to spend time with the kids in California and England. He scheduled his coronation for Archie's birthday then forced Harry to choose all while refusing to invite the children to England last year. Genuinely insane anyway. This business as usual briefing is falling flat giving the downright unhinged panic from the palace last month. Charles shows his whole ass <laughs> and uh, he's never going to see Archie and Lily again unless he makes some significant changes. With him, nah, there's no change. Uh, he's stuck with his thing. Now that everything is out. Whoever wrote this kick ass lipos is a rock star. It's me. <laughs> Celebrity. Okay, it was work shy that demand tampon changed the date. Tampon was going, I mean, allegedly. I don't know if that's true. I didn't come across anything that said it was Egg who wanted to change the day. Maybe. So he could change, uh, determine the time uh, for Harry to make a choice, either the family or his kids. And Harry <laughs> chose both and then he managed to, that's the one where I believe, with the hanger, right after he left. Tempon was going to have his coronation on, what's that? Something me date as his mother's i don't know what is that okay thank you well said okay so let's go to the next tweet these people are full of themselves overshadowed this overshadowed that they want the spotlight when the spotlight is on them okay this let me put this last you know what let's just do it and get over it all right so this is uh charles um image that was revealed okay when you put it side by side upside down you see the devil kind of thing so this is at a museum i don't know uh thank god it's not a paint they threw at the thing it's they just uh paste something on it okay lol there's the laugh charles gate of hell portrait was redecorated by animal rights activists protesting again or spca an organization his patron of the protesters pasted wallace and gromit posters on the painting i uh, abolish the monarchy 22nd there will be screenshot <laughs> There's a woman in the back now. <laughs> oh shit, I thought that guy was a, a girl, but <laughs> that's a guy. Alright, so this is that. <laughs> He's lucky they didn't um they didn't throw paint. But listen to the lady in the back. I'm gonna rewind it. Oh my lord. Okay, so that's that. Okay, why does it look better though? <laughs> right? I'm no okay, let's pause. I'm normally opposed to activists defacing artwork. However, I'm not sure that the soak tampon portrait which was paid for with uh, untaxed income derived from class exploitation and colonialism really qualify as artwork. There's that, there's a laugh. I feel the same about that monstrosity not qualifying. Quote, the group said that the painting was not damaged. Yeah, the way they did it, they just pasted on it. The group said that the painting was not damaged. The posters were fixed it using water sprayed onto the back of them and are easily removable without causing damage to the painting the statement said yeah from the way you see they roll it on it so you could see they just paste it on it next tweet royal kids there's more of that again okay he's not wrong thank god she escaped with her husband baby and life all right, that's a retweet of this. We'll be speaking about Megan in the past. Hence, if she had remained like Diana, she was too popular for the blood family to tolerate. Okay, okay, they definitely wanted what happened to Kate to have happened to Megan. Undoubtedly, some of them have been posted about it. That is why we must continue to pray for the Sussexes. Exactly. Okay, that's why the tabloid are so desperate. I'm telling you, if something happened. I think we will see another side of Harry because he's trying to avoid them as many, uh, as much as possible. There's this uh, video, uh, I believe it was in Australia, and there's other version of it, not the same group or the same people, but different type of similar reaction where there's a bully, a skinny guy, who's bullying another classmate. He's very big, you know, 
um, and his friends were recording it, laughing or whatever. The guy who was being bullied was trying to avoid the skinny one. But at some point, something came out of him. The one who was being bullied, okay, just took the guy who was bullying him, pick him up and slam him on the floor. Now, at some, when people are being tormented over and over, they're trying to avoid you, that doesn't mean they cannot fight. So they better be careful with Harry because if he snap, it may not, I don't know. I don't want to promote violence or anything, but when people keep on poking you, poking you, it's like poking the bear. At some point, the bear is going to turn around and said, you know, not even say anything and just act. Let me just continue. That's why the tabloid are so desperate to get her and the kids to go back to the UK so Diana could happen to one or all of them. Yeah. I mean, I've been saying this. The thing, it has been done before and all of that. They want it to happen in the UK because they want possession of it. Look how they, whatever happened to Kate. I don't know if she's dead or alive. I really don't know. There's so many speculation in every videos. Look how the whole system in the UK, it's like there's no adult to say, put a stop to this BS. No one is speaking out about her. She just completely disappeared and they just keep on writing nonsense after nonsense and everybody take it as gospel and then they move on. Can you imagine that? All right, the line obviously needs new blood. That's an ad. Okay, after, okay, so let's just read everything here. Okay, thank God and did. It gives Rosemary's baby. Amen, Joe. I will be forever thankful to Harry for making that decision. Yes and no. It, it, it was Harry's decision in a way, yes. But we have to thank William as well, okay? They probably didn't think Harry was going to leave. This is maybe the part where we need to thank Harry for, for sticking to, with his wife. But it was William who kicked them out. I remember the Sandrium Summit, the thing, Simon case, they wrote um, for Harry to exit. I began to address Granny about the five options. Your Majesty, you've seen the five options? Yes, she said. We all had. They'd been emailed to us. Five different ways of proceeding. Option one was continuance of the status quo. Meg and I don't leave. Everyone tries to go back to normal. Option five was full severance. No royal role, no working for granny, and total loss of security. Option three was somewhere in between, a compromise, closest to what we'd originally proposed. I told everyone assembled that, above all, I was desperate to keep security. That was what worried me most, my family's physical safety. I wanted to prevent a repeat of history, another untimely death, like the one that had rocked this family to its core, 23 years earlier, and from which we were still trying to recover. I'd consulted with several palace veterans, people who knew the inner workings of the monarchy and its history, and they all said option three was best for all parties. Meg and I living elsewhere part of the year, continuing our work, retaining security, returning to Britain for charities, ceremonies, events. Sensible solution, these palace veterans said, and eminently doable. The family, of course, pushed me to take option one. Barring that, they would only accept option five. We discussed the five options for nearly an hour. At last, the bee got up and went round the table, handing out a draft of a statement the palace would soon be releasing, announcing implementation of option five. Wait, I'm confused. You've already drafted a statement? Before any discussion? Announcing option five? In other words, the fix was in this whole time? This summit was just for show? No answer. Do you not remember? So we have to thank them as well. But the thing as well, Harry, was like, okay, you pushed me out, so I'm out. And accepted it and stick with his wife and child at that time, now children. But they didn't expect Harry to do that. All right, so let's go to the next one. I just explained on my other video about the Sandium uh, um, Summit when Harry left uh, the UK, the um, speech that he made during the Centre Bali thing. All right, so next tweet. So we have to thank William as well. 
Uh, so I have it twice. Is that? Yep, I have it twice. Let me pause for a second. I put the same link on another tweet. So this is the correct one. Luckily, I had the first sentence. Well, the only sentence of that tweet, the caption. Okay, next tweet. It's really good to know that the royal family can shut down false rumors when they want to. All right. I believe the thing, what she's making reference to, I didn't see the article. The squad did not share it, but I've heard other people. There's TikTok videos talking about it. Okay is that um, there was something that was going around that, uh, uh, what's her name? Kate went to Houston, Texas to get medical treatment. This is what she's making reference to. And then she's saying that the royal family shut that down. Okay, shut that rumor down. All right, so there's that, the GIF, shaking my head on a dime. Yep, they're shutting it down on a dime when they want to. And it could be as well. The reason they put a stop to it, because remember th there's one TikTok video that i share this young lady was saying that um imagine you in the uk the what do you call it? the government is telling you the nhs the nhs is providing the best care the best this the best that but yet you have the royal family going outside of the uk to get treatment so what does that say about nhs so i think this is why I mean, when they're throwing their nonsense out there, they never think anything through. They want to see the people's reaction. So probably one of these things probably caught their attention and then they put a stop to it. Okay? That's what I think. Because uh, a lot of people were making reference different branches of that particular Houston um, treatment thing. All right? So this is one of the response here. Yeah. And still many people believe that Heavy and Megan are the bed for living and defending themselves after years and harassment by the press and the royal family did not care enough to make a simple statement. But it does matter if they talk about Botox or a trip to Texas. You see, that's what I thought. Okay, and that's the only reason I've been following this saga. The contrast between how they treat Megan and how they are now treating Kate is remarkable. <laughs> but she's gone. We don't... Okay, allegedly, allegedly... But the press is treating her, you know, there's a difference when somebody's gone and someone is still here. But anyway, let me not go too deep into that. Houston Chronicles respond laid the false claim at Kensington Palace's feet, which we've been told is not a trusted source. So, so what Houston Chronicle? Okay, I didn't come across that. Every time they speak up to defend Kate, it reminds me of how they never said a word in defense of Megan. The double standard is glaringly obvious. The fact that they were so quick to deny what was barely even a rumor tells me it is uh, probably true. Huh. There's another key point here. All right. So there's this here. I don't know. The MD Anderson story might be true. That... Uh, Okay, who's MD? Dr. Anderson. So MD, medical doctor, could be the one that was at CNN. The one that said they never heard of preventative care or something like that. That's what I'm thinking this is making um, reference to. The MD Anderson story might be true that uh, may explain her absence. She will want the best care and MD Anderson has been the number one in the world for quite a while for cancer. Okay, I don't know anything about that. As you can see, I share my original recording. I wasn't sure what they were talking about, MD Anderson. Then I decided to look it up. To tell you the truth, this is the first time I'm hearing about this. I never knew they had this particular center in Texas. So I went to check it to see what MD Anderson is because originally I thought it was the CNN doctor that Anderson Cooper had on his show who was talking about the cancer that Kate had but the person the tweet keep on mentioned MD Anderson MD Anderson so I type MD Anderson and this is what I found so there is a special uh, place in Texas okay uh, the University of Texas MD Anderson Center cancer center so it is a true thing is a place that i guess deal with uh, cancer and all of that so i had to share it my ignorance in this so this is that uh you could look it up i'll leave the link in the description you guys could check it out because i never knew this thing existed okay that's it 
Where's the guy who uses the flight track app when you need him? All right, so I said I was gonna go into that. What? What did I miss? Okay. Houston Chronicle respond laid the false claim at the Kensington Palace's feet, which we've been told is not a trusted source. So, okay. I don't know anything about that. Uh, I don't see anything else. Let's go to the next one. Uh, what is that? Oh, okay. So this is the squad who were talking about, um, heavy you know don't be surprised why heavy married megan yeah i really thought that little boy who looked at a young black girl like that and a black woman like that was going to marry a uh, english wolves that's the laugh here i remember that was the time i was looking for this picture i can find it so there it is here look at her very fascinating this uh she could be mixed race too that lady sort of looked like her. That could be her mother. This is so cute. And look at him here. <laughs> okay. Th there's me here. Don't forget Halle Berry and his dorm room. There's that. These are GIF. I didn't want to go search for the picture of Halle Berry behind him. Okay. They keep sending him to the Commonwealth countries and they... Shaq, he brought home a black woman. I know, right? I remember years ago, it was reported that Harry loved him some brown sugar. <laughs> okay, the black lady stopped Harry looking at his phone to admire her. Only black ladies can do that to Harry. Remember his crush on Halle Berry when at Eton? Okay, I didn't even see this person would that. Can't let him smell the cocoa butter. It's all over after that. <laughs> Harry knew back then he didn't have to worry about potato salad with raisin. <laughs> the comments usually so funny. So, so sweet. Seeing that first pick again, all these years Harry wanted to find real love. And when he did, Giles decided to set about to destroy his love along with his baby. I am overjoyed how love prevailed, free and relatively safe away from the daily toxicity that is the cult corridors. Harry has that look of Jamie Dorman and Fifty Shade. OMG, goodness, Harry. <laughs> We saw this in Harry since he was a teen. My family even waged a bet that he was going to wear the sister. We were right on point. Harry knows how he's welcome in the black community and goes where he's shown love. That's a dubs. Kismet is strong with Harry and Megan. He knew then who he was supposed to be with. There's the heart here. There's that Halle Berry. All right. So I believe the next one. Okay. Byline. Okay, I'm going to leave the byline last and then because um, there's one, there's a LOL. I'm going to keep that as one video. The byline one would be a video by itself probably because I want to read the article. This one was so cute. So sweet sisterhood. It's only 20 seconds. This, uh, I guess they were in a tournament. They give out the medals and then you're going to see at the end. My gift. So what might look stupid to some, some, somebody might look at me and go, why are you doing that? You wouldn't understand it because you don't got my gift. Hmm. You wouldn't understand it because you haven't been called to do what I do. So I don't need you to understand. I don't need you to affirm me. My gift affirms me because every time I use it, it makes room for me. So you don't have to understand why I do what I do. That is my gift. So okay. Um, I didn't know there was that audio. I was When I first saw it, I was looking at it and, and silent. I didn't know... Uh, there was that motivational type of thing in the back, the voiceover. But this was so cute. She called the other uh, players, uh, opponent, that's the word, opponent to come on the podium, his, her spot with her. I mean, to make it this far, that's really good. And I, I appreciate the, the other opponents accepted uh, her invitation to come to the top with her. That is so nice. I don't know while I'm editing it, it reminds me of this gymnast, a child also, uh, where they were giving the awards, but when they reached the black kid, they skipped her. I don't know, for some reason that just crossed my mind while I'm editing the video. I think I had shared it with you uh, in one of my old videos, probably a year or so now, but I don't know, it just crossed my mind. I don't even have the image to share you with you. I don't even know which video I have it, but it just crossed my mind. I thought I mentioned it. That's nice.
All right. So that's it. Um, hmm. Let me see the byline one. Because some byline was having a lot of screenshot, but no article. Let me make sure it has the article. You know what? Let me just throw this here because I don't think I want to read that. I think I put it because of the squad and the UK. All right. So that would be one video. Okay, how Rishi Sunak changed the rules to keep the Conservative Party in power. Sunak accused Labour of wanting to, quote, change the rules so they are in power for a very long time, despite making a long list of his own rule change designed to benefit the Tories. All right, it's up to the UK to open their eyes. All right, they remove things from you, make you want to be in need of, you know, basic stuff, food, shelter, clothing, all of this. Uh, and then so you could be in need of it and then when it's time to vote they're pointing fingers at the other who's in power now who's doing these things so you can pay attention i'll leave the link in the description and you guys go read it i'm not gonna read it okay i thought it was a different uh, article so that's that um so please take a moment to subscribe like and share if you're not support this channel there's a paypal link and a cash app link in the description you could donate those who have donated thank you all right, so I hope you guys could donate through PayPal or Cash App or shop on my, um, uh, go check my merch and see if you like any of the, the thing that's there. All right, because YouTube is not being fair. That's it. Thank you for watching. It's a great privilege to be with all of you today. You know, we want, we ask for forgiveness and, uh, and please come back. for the better.